All Super Bowl week out of towners raved about the friendliness of Minnesotans. Uh, by being helpful, we uh, certainly lived up to our tradition of Minnesota nice. But that term doesn't always mean we welcome everyone into our homes with open arms either. So where did Minnesota nice come from? Good question. Heather Brown checked out the nice and not so nice roots of the tradition. Hey there. Hey, we're here with Channel 4. We're even polite when saying no. Oh, uh, no, thank you. And I gotta get back to work. Okay. Sorry. I don't have any time right now, but thank you. That was a nice. That was very nice. And now the whole world knows it. Hashtag Super Bowl 52. Hashtag Minnesota nice. People really, really nice, but very nice. Super kind of everyone. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Where does Minnesota nice come from? I think it comes originally from the Scandinavian immigrants. Lena Norman is from Sweden. She teaches the language at the U. We have a long tradition of not opposing the kings. And you wouldn't question authority. You accept where you are and you don't stand out. She says Scandinavians brought their sense of community over individual. It's spelled out in a 1931 novel about the Ten Laws of Yanta. It says, in part, you're not to think you're smarter or better or more special than anyone else. Lena was given this book when she was valedictorian at her high school. So they said congratulations on being number one. Yes, but, but you're not, not the best. <laughs> right, exactly. To me, Minnesota nice means I'm not going to say what I think because I don't want to make anybody mad. You have to be nice and polite. Wintertime, you know, need somebody to help shovel in. Yeah, go ahead and help him shovel. You are welcoming in one way, but you also keep distant. Which is why moving from Sweden to Boston years ago was a big culture shock. And when people started to ask me, um, how are you doing? Said, Do you really want to know how I am doing? <laughs> if I can tell you, but then we need to know each other first. She's changed and thinks Minnesota has too, with a more welcoming version of past traditions. You'd be willing to invite somebody to your house? Absolutely. Heather Brown. Someone I know, maybe. <laughs> WCCO 4 News. Uh, Heather spoke with a number of scholars who have looked at the origins of Minnesota nice, but no one could really come up with a good timeline for when that term became popular. Yeah, and that is folklore for you. There's a story behind it, but it is not always clear where it first started. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.